Uh, so we've had uh, we had a lot of people actually ask the, this question. People wanted to know: Did you have anything to do uh, with a song called "Call on Me"? So you yeah, dropped yeah, that yeah, song yeah. years before that Eric Pritz yeah, yeah, yeah. had we, that come out. We, Was there a story behind that as well? Yeah, yeah, we were we were doing also some um, some um, some other music with Thomas, and we had this track called "Call on Me," you know, and. And uh, we 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 didn't want to release this track because uh-huh. it was kind of based on the same loop as, as together and, and so uh-huh. much love, but it didn't really mix. It was just a cool loop, yeah. and, and you know. But compared to the strike, it we didn't want to release. But uh-huh. still, I was I was playing this me when I was DJ. Yeah, and because um, you were playing that years before. Yeah, 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 finally yeah released. years before. And uh, this is why you know a lot of people are talking. Because people knew this video where I was playing this uh-huh. uh, two years before Eric Price released mm-hmm. the, the yeah. stuff, and and uh, so yeah, so and then uh, yeah, and then uh, I guess this guy thought it was. Uh, first of all, we had a letter from Ministry of Sound ask us if we mm-hmm. want to release. So yeah. people were already paying attention to this track, and people wanted to know what's going on. And yeah. So, like you said, there's a lot of people trying to find opportunity, you know. Uh, to, uh, this is one of those. And to be honest, it, it's not a. I can, I can, yes, yeah, I can talk for the other guy, you know, like mm-hmm. Thomas, and it's not, it's not our goal, you know. It's yeah. just, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, at the end of the day, to be honest, uh, uh, because we can talk about this, <laughs> it, it is. People don't understand that, um, because when people are talking to me about this. They expect me to to be kind of angry, or mm-hmm. uh, and to be honest, I don't, you know. <laughs> yeah. We didn't want to release the track, uh-huh. so we didn't release, you know. Yeah, but that, and it was we a commercial release the track, too. You're just but it. it's true that at the end of the day, <clears throat> this guy made a, a version which, for some reason, it didn't change a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. but it sounds so cheesy. He make it so cheesy. Uh huh. Club friendly. Yeah, he make it so you know, and the video clip it's just kind of vulgar. It's not, it's not interesting. You know, it's yeah. not my stuff. Mm-hmm. So to be connected with something that I found not not interested at all, yeah. and people get confused. It's me. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 so that's kind of that's the only thing that I that I, that I regret. You uh-huh. know. Yeah. Because. And uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And at some point, I heard that this guy was in trouble because at the time it was big success. Yeah. And this guy is kind of too techno, and it is not really into very the, different. Uh, yeah, just different. commercial stuff. And, yeah. And so he was in trouble because mm-hmm. always people expect mm-hmm. him to play this kind of stuff. And, uh-huh. and uh, but I don't, you know what? Uh, I'm <laughs> yeah. good for him if he, if he had some success. And, yeah. and but yeah. like I said, I'm, I'm more cool with that. Yeah. And I have really no problem. Nice.